Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we are taking a look at the SR3M in the carbine category. Don't ask. It's in home SMG rifle carbine SR3M. And if it looks familiar, well, I'd be surprised, but it should look a little familiar because it is based on the Vinterez or AS Val carbine. What it is, is basically one of these with the uh, suppressor removed, right? Fires the same 9x39 subsonic round, but now you got it in a smaller package with no suppressor. Takes the same magazines too. Let's check it out. Let's check out the controls on this SR3M. Basically, we've got AK controls almost. So we've got a folding stock here. You can grab it on the butt pad. There we go. And fold it all the way flat. It folds on the left side so it doesn't get in the way of the ejector. We've got typical AK behavior here. You've got your mag well. Here's your bolt. Here's your safety. You got to move it left on the track pad to go between safe, full auto, and then semi. This, this selector bar doesn't switch between full auto and semi, but this little thing down by the trigger does. So that's safe, full auto, semi. So. What else we got here? You cannot pull the bolt back when it is in safe. You got to take it off into one of the two fire modes before you can rack the bolt. There we go. There's no bolt hold open and it does not hold open on empty. So, and there's no down on the track pad to eject the magazine. There's no magazine eject. So you got to do that manually and you got to do this manually and then you're ready to go. Uh, you cannot fold the foregrip, which is a bummer, because if you could, this thing would fold up and be really compact. Not that that really matters in H3, but it's kind of cool looking. At any rate, you can't do that. So, so no folding. Let's look at attachments. What do we got here? Well, let's start with rails and say no there's no rails so none of that however we do have the russian dovetail mount on the side here so you can mount any russian dovetail thing on the side that you want the interesting thing that i'm noticing is there's a little bit of slop in there you can actually slide it back and forth just a little bit which i haven't noticed before on any of the russian models i don't know if that's new or if i never tried it or what but there it is on this gun, so you can adjust that just a little bit. So that's really cool. What else? Whoops, what else do we have here? Let's see what fits on the barrel. Where's my muzzle brake? Muzzle brake will go. PBS4. Yeah. Nice suppressor. Barrel extension. Yep. Rail adapter. Yep. So that's how you get your rails on there. Foregrip on the foregrip. Nope. That ain't gonna happen. What else we got? Up, 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 up. Stock on the stock. No, that's not gonna work. Battle spatula. Battle spatula will go. I don't think it has any custom bayonets for it, so the barrel ones will work just fine. Let's look at the iron sights that it comes with. Well, they are very close together. Look at that. That's like the the, the distance of one index controller there. So they are way out there and they are way together. Now, are they adjustable? No, they are not adjustable. So what do they look like? Well, to be honest, that rear notch is just really small and shallow and it's hard to find that front post. Even though the front post is pretty chunky, you got big wings on it. You think you could pick it up pretty easily. So let's see what we got. Ew, yeah, that's hard to find that. Not great, so you're going to want to slap something on there. Let's see what we get here. Is this off-center? Yes, this is off-center. So, that's fun. Yeesh. Let's try our Cobra sight. Uh, yeah, that's off-center too. So, these are made for the width of much wider models. They'll work, don't get me wrong, but... They are slightly off-center, which is a bummer. But maybe this thing's just really skinny, or maybe the model's just really skinny. I don't know. Something got squished along the way. On to the all-important recoil test. 30 rounds of 9x39 chunky chunky rounds. 
in this gun, which is really narrow for a nine millimeter, but hey, whatever. Let's try it with no stock. Woohoo, here we go. Yeah, one-handed with no stock shoots into the ceiling. Let's try two-handed. Still no stock. Yep, still into the ceiling. All right, foregrip, no stock. Woo. Terrible first shot, but that's okay. We were in the ceiling anyway. Ah, I was just having some fun. All right, let's shoot it properly. Here we go. All right, 5.87 average. Not terrible, but uh, not very good. Let's try it with a muzzle brake. Well, that improved dramatically. 7.27 average. Now we're talking much, much improved. Now with the suppressor the way it was meant to be fired and used. Here we go. Weird. Went up and went back down. 7.2 average. Not as good as I was expecting, but this is a big, heavy round. So, eh. Not too bad, I suppose. There you have it, the SR-3M, very compact. Why is it in the carbine category? Submachine gun, question mark. Cousin to the VSS and the ASVAL. Pretty cool. Till next time, I will see you. Yeah, you get a little time, you can pull it down, but those second and third rounds are, oof.